Hi everyone. Last time we were talking about how many hands are there if we have one person or two people and I challenged you to go home and see how many people in your home there are and how many hands in your home there are. So we might have been able to get all kinds of different answers based on how many people lived with us. But we do know that one person has two hands. So I wanted to make this chart so that we could really start to look at the pattern that happens when we look at how many people there are and how many hands there are. So if one person has two hands, how many hands are there if we have two people? Well, each person has two hands and we can count by twos. Two, four. Two people have four hands. What about three people? Well, let's skip count by twos three times. Two, four, six. Three people have six hands. Let's keep going. Four people, two, four, six, eight. Four people have eight hands. Five people, let's skip count, two, four, six, eight, ten. Five people have ten hands. What about six people? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Six people, whoops, have twelve hands. And seven people, get your fingers ready. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Seven people. 14 hands. Let's look at this chart here. What do we notice? Take a moment to think about what you see. In the green row, in the green column, we have people. It goes from one to seven, counting by ones. In the blue row, blue column, what do you see? Looks like we're skip counting by twos, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Two is one more than one, and four is two more than two, and six is three more than three, eight is four more than four. This is another pattern that I'm noticing. I wonder what would happen if we made this list all the way down. Do you think it would follow the same pattern? If we double the numbers, one plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Let's come down here. Five plus five is 10. Six plus six is 12. It looks like it's following that pattern. So maybe that's another strategy we could use when we're trying to figure out how many hands there are. If we had 10 people, well, 10 plus 10 is 20. If we had 10 people, I think we would have 20 hands. Try it out. You can draw that picture or count by twos 10 times. I'm going to put this aside for right now. And now we're going to talk about a different kind of skip counting. If we have hands with five fingers each, I have a question for you. How many fingers are there on four hands? So each hand has one, two, three, four, five fingers. We're counting the thumb as a finger. Five fingers on one hand. So how many fingers are there on four hands? I drew some little bitty hands right here to help us count. I can use each finger to help me count. So let's see. On the first hand, I have one, two, three, four, five fingers. Let's keep counting. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, 
We were able to solve the problem and answer the question. How many fingers are there on four hands? Well, on four hands, we have 20 fingers. But I bet there's a way that we could solve that problem much faster. Instead of drawing out all of these hands and counting every finger, we could use something else to count much faster. So I'm going to erase these here and show you what else we could do. We know that there are five fingers on this hand, right? So instead of counting one, two, three, four, five, we could just say five. We know that there are five fingers on this hand. Five fingers on this hand and five fingers on this hand. When we have groups that are the same number, we can count by that number. We can skip count. So I know we all know how to skip count by fives. It will be a lot easier to figure out the answer to this question if we just skip count by fives. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20. That was a much easier, much faster, right? So if we have a question that's asking us, how many fingers are there on six hands? How many fingers are there on six hands? It's going to be a different answer. This time, instead of drawing all these hands and all of these fingers and taking up all of that time, I'm going to draw circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each of these circles is going to represent a hand. So I could go and draw some stick fingers if I wanted to, or I could just tell myself each of these hands has five fingers. Now I'm ready to skip count because each of these circles has the same number. So I can skip count by five. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's try that again, count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So what's the answer to our question? How many fingers are there on six hands? There are 30 fingers on six hands. Super. Now we're ready to answer some questions at home as well. Maybe you can go around your family, around the dinner table, and see how many fingers are at the table. Make a guess and then check your work by counting everybody's fingers. Don't forget to count your own. Have a great day.